How are you? I would like us to prepare a simple acid base indicator using simple materials. I'm going to use flour extract to prepare a simple acid base indicator. So I'm, I'm going to crush the flowers in a mortar using a pestle. So I'm crushing the flowers in my mortar using the pestle. Crush them completely until you form something like a paste. So I'm crushing the flowers. Good. So continue crushing until you get, you have crushed everything until it has formed something like a paste. Good. Then I'm going to add some propanol into our crushed substance. You can also use Ethanol, in case you don't have propanol, you can also use ethanol, which will still give us the same extract. Remember, we are using this propanol because it can dissolve most of the organic substances. Uh, water will not be able to do that. So, it's best to use propanol. Or, if you don't have it, you use ethanol. Then, I'm going to add more of it. Continue crushing. Good until you get a deep solution. Good, I think my solution is ready. Then I'm going to decant the solution into a beaker. So decant the solution into a beaker. Good, there you have it. We have prepared a simple acid base indicator from flowers. You can also use leaves, remember? Even leaves will give us the same extract. Thank you. So our next part of the experiment is to test if our flower extract indicator really works. So I'm going to test some solution using the indicator we just created. I'm going to test, for example, let me test hydrochloric acid. So put some small amount of hydrochloric acid, let's say around 10 centimeters cube in a test tube. Good. Then I'm going to put two drops of the indicator and shake. Good, so we get an orange color that is almost red. Orange color. So that's the color in an acid. Let us test also a base using the same indicator. So I'm going to test sodium hydroxide. Just put some small amount of sodium hydroxide into test tube around 10 centimeters cube good sorry then i'm also going to add a few drops of the indicator and shake so i'm getting a brown color that is almost green for a test so it's giving a different color from that that was given in an acid good i'm also going to test another acid using the same indicator. So I'm going to test nitric acid. Again, put some small amount of the nitric acid in a test tube. Then add two to three drops. Shake. So again, you are getting an orange color. You can see it's almost the color that we got using hydrochloric acid. So it's giving us a definite color in an acid. Then test also lime water. Good. Shake. Again, we are getting the acids give the same color that is almost red in color. And then the base is also giving us the same color. The only disadvantage of this indicator is that it's not consistent. The results change after some time, also depending on the solution. That's the only difference. Yeah, that is the only disadvantage of using this indicator.